the 4 and 18 Eastern Eagles traveled two hours from Reedsville to Morristown to take on the 5 and 17 White Oak Wildcats. Now, there's a reason why the Eagles made the long trip to Morristown. It's tournament time. Both these teams meet for their first tournament games in the sectional semifinals. Let's jump straight to the action. The Wildcats were able to score efficiently in the first quarter by quick ball movement and crashing the glass for second chance opportunities. While White Oak led after the first, the Eagles kept it very close, finding holes in the Wildcat defense. 13-11 Wildcats was a score after scene one. The second quarter was very similar to the first, a battle where both teams were swinging back and forth at one another. White Oak and Eastert displayed tournament intensity with the buckets they were scoring. The Wildcats held on to a slight lead going into the break with a score of 25 to 21. With each other's seasons on the line, the third quarter was destined to be interesting. The Wildcats emerged from halftime hungry for a win. They continued to score scrappy buckets and were able to get to the charity stripe quite often. But a certain eagle kept Eastern in this game. Derek Barnes came alive in this quarter with his shooting. Barnes drained five threes Tuesday night and led Eastern in scoring with 15 points on the night. Barnes propelled Eastern back into a tight game going into the fourth, only trailing by three, but the tide quickly changed. Turnovers plagued the Eagles in the fourth quarter and ultimately led to their demise. A big reason for a ton of the Eagles' turnovers was White Oak senior Weston Blair. The senior forward was scrappy all night. He hustled everywhere on the floor, and that hustle rewarded him with being the top scorer of the night. Blair put up 18 points as he led the Wildcats to their first tournament win of the season. After the game, we talked to Eastern head coach David Kite about his reflections of the 2023-2024 season. It was a learning year for us. I think it was um, take what you learned that you did wrong this year, fix it over the summer, and then the next year, and good things will happen. The Eagles traveled two hours away to White Oak, where they faced the Tigers in the sectional semifinals. Now, the Eagles kept this game close all night, but eventually just fell short, 60-47, to ending their season. For Hardwood Heroes, I'm Stephen Caroli, reminding you to be heroic.